Welcome everyone. We're going to be looking into some fraud, skullduggery and outright stupidity in today's video. Just over a week ago, Elizabeth Holmes was sentenced to over 11 years in prison, having been convicted on four counts of fraud. At one point, her company Theranos was valued at over 9 billion US dollars, and now it's worth nothing. Elizabeth Holmes in Silicon Valley fooled an awful lot of people into believing that her small machine called Edison could test for hundreds of different diseases using just one drop of blood. At about the same time, an even more outrageous claim came from a police laboratory in Bangkok that it matched the DNA of two accused men to a non-existent a non-existent mixed semen sample supposedly found on the body of a British backpacker, Hannah Witheridge. A common feature of these scientific frauds in the USA and in Thailand is that certain groups of journalists were amongst the most gullible of observers and they managed to mislead their audiences with very poorly researched stories. Yet other groups of journalists played outstanding roles in exposing the frauds and those more clued up journalists were not taken in by the fact that some of these fraudsters happened to be wearing nice white lab coats. I'll now show you a 35 second clip featuring a Royal Thai Police Major General Kuan Shai Sutirakun, who was the chief of the Institute of Forensic Medicine in Bangkok. Now, just like Elizabeth Holmes, the Major General makes assertions, but he doesn't back them up with any evidence. <laughs> คือคือมีคนต่อสู้เพื่อคนพม่าคู่นี้เหมือนกันพยายามที่จะบอกว่าเราเนี่ยจับแพ้เราไม่ได้เมคหลักฐานทางวิทยาศาสตร์แล้ว
It was tested by the police, and the police announced that there was a match with these two Burmese men. It has not been independently verified, and that's something which the defence case here has been pushing for and pushing for over the last few months in the run-up to this trial. Uh, and today, it's become clear that even if they do get the judge to approve the retesting of the samples, there's nothing for them to retest. The Lieutenant Colonel Somsak, who spoke to us today, said some of the samples, there just simply doesn't exist enough of the samples uh, to be retested, and others have been lost. So there is no way for, for it to be independently verified, this link between the two Burmese men and the body of Hannah Witheridge. There are just so many striking similarities between the scientific fraud behind Theranos and the scientific fraud behind the scapegoating of Zhou Lin and Wai Pyo. One other striking similarity between the two situations is that the whistleblowers and the people who stand up for truth and for justice often find themselves the target of very unwanted attention.